So if you were on assignment here and you had to come back with a, you would you would use a variety of lenses, obviously various long lens for Point Lobos mm -hmm. and yeah, maybe. Do you tend to? Really I can just, be lazy. I'd just use a twenty-four to just leave it on all the yeah, time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I did that in Japan quite a bit. Just use that one lens, and in a way, it frees you up because I forget who oops, the photographer it was said you you know you use your feet. Yeah, Kappa, I think, right? It might have been Kappa. He says, "Well, if your photographs aren't good enough, you're not close enough." That yeah, was that's what Kappa said. Yeah, but you know, you, you, but yeah, you zoom with your feet. You, you zoom with your feet, not with crop the camera. with your feet in those yeah. days. Although, in my case at the moment, it's, not, <laughs> it's a little not less. This way. <laughs> but I, there's something different about you know, if you just use a zoom. You're you're not that involved and active with the fo with the photograph. Yeah. So yeah, but when you have to move in, there's effort and. Yeah, you should make, you know, changes that move around. And just to get slightly different viewpoints. This is bugging me why I'm not getting a really... My Leica M2, I shot with an, a 35 constantly. That's all the only lens I ever really used. Really? And... Uh, oh, yeah, well, I did too. I've got a 35. I, was, I shot with um, an M6 for With years, a 35mm lens? With a 35 um, Sumilux, was it? The yeah. one four. That's right. The one four. One it's four. a beautiful lens. Wow. Yes. Ooh. Got it. I've Let's got, see. I've got the star. Do you ever feel like when you get no, that one photograph, look. you could just go home and have a glass <laughs> okay. of wine and that's it? Yeah, good idea. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, there's the burst. Ooh, that's nice. Look at how perfect that sunburst is, too. And it's a really nice sky. Wow. We're almost, so. you're almost picking up the blue hour. But the blue hour doesn't really work unless you, I mean, it, obviously it works, but you need that tungsten light to kind of yeah. give it the... I always look for, I love mixed light sources. Like so. there is a, a light, a few lights that come on. Really? On this porch. They have a, it's a motion sensor though, so it'll go on and off. I can try activating it. That's the other thing, Bob, is making do with what you've got rather than... Yeah. Artificially lighting it. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, it's not. Is that going to show up? Nah. Not enough. Well, it'll show up, but it's it's not really throwing any light onto the. It's just too bright. I was trying that to get ready for another hour. Yeah, I was trying to get access to the house so we could go in and turn on the lights, but I wasn't. Yeah. Quick yeah, enough. Look, it would look really nice with all the lights on. We can. But it would take. We'd have to wait another half an hour. Yeah. For it to work. We'll try that sometime. Though. And we. What time is it? We're pretty much out of light anyway. Bob, we just finished this course. It's going to be up really soon. What excites you the most about it? What are you What are you interested in teaching people? Well, I like to share, the processes that I've been through to make me a better photographer. Yeah. It's that simple. Yeah, you know, I, I enjoy, you know, photography is a great hobby. I like people to become better photographers and everybody's a photographer now. You know, I, one thing that I, this, well, I didn't really discover it, but I've always been opposed to iPhone photography because I, I'm not used to looking at, yeah. take, although I use a view camera, I'm, for some it's reason, it's very different. Though. I don't like looking through the lack of a phone. But I was in a monastery in Japan, uh, two about just about two weeks ago, and spent the night there. And in the morning, there was a great shot of a monk behind uh, a soji screen, huh. and it was just a shadow, shadow of the monk with his bald head, and he wore glasses. It looked a bit like the Dalai Lama, but it's, be, it's just his. Is silhouette behind this soji screen wow. with the dawn light coming on it. And I didn't expect to be able to take photographs in the monastery, so I didn't take a spare battery, and my battery was dead in my uh. camera. I'd been shooting so much that morning, I killed the battery. All I had was my phone. And so I got it on my iPhone. Well, hey. And it, without that, I wouldn't have got the photograph. Yeah. So it convinced me I should really take iPhoneography far more seriously. Yeah. And I'm going to get the new, whatever it is, iPhone 11. But whatever camera you're using, it's the same basics, right? That oh, you, yeah. That it's we're teaching. The best camera is the one you have with you. 
Uh, the thing, the thing about the, your course, I think that makes it really different, is that it's an actual assignment. We're not in a classroom. Yeah. We're not talking about photographing. We're photograph. You're photographing, and we're talking about the process behind that. And that's really a different way of learning. And I think the thing I have to offer is that I spent 35 years as an amateur, always dreaming of being a mm. photographer. Yeah. I always wanted to be a photographer, and now I've been a photographer for 40 years. You know, working for nearly every major magazine in the world. Amazing, huh? And uh, some experience yeah, there. Yeah, so I've I have a lot of experience from the background that most people have. You know, I'm self-taught. I uh, I always wanted to be a photographer. I bought my first serious camera just after I graduated from college. I bought a Min uh, Miranda. Miranda. Miranda DSLR which was, uh, it cost 69 pounds, which was probably about $100 yeah. at the time. But it was a real camera, a real DSLR with a, an interchangeable pentaprism. Oh yeah, that's lenses. pretty cool. And it's a really nice camera. Yeah. And uh, I just carried on from there. I, I bought an old Linoff and shot very Four precious five. landscapes. Nice. A Rolleiflex. You know, I worked through a whole bunch of cameras. I, was, you know, I lived photography. I think the biggest lesson that I can give is that if, if you're serious about photography, really deep dive, deep dive, or, or dive deep. <laughs> Either way, <laughs> get in there. Time for a glass of wine. Yeah, it yeah. is. You know, dive deeply into it. And I used to buy every magazine there was, uh, photography books. One of the things that really got me excited was discovering Edward Weston's day books. In 1972, a gallery opened in London called the Photographer's Gallery and it was the very first exposure we had to American photographers. And I bought the day books. I'd never heard of Edward Weston. And he lived, he we, lived we, just, we just could here. actually see his oh, house yeah. over there. Yeah. Across the bay there. Yeah. So I bought the day books, read them. And just reading cover. his, those um, are his revelations about photographing in yeah, the 30s, yeah. right? And you know, progressed to minor white and yeah. a lot of the West Coast photographers and photographers I never dreamt I'd ever meet and become friends with, like Brett Weston, Edward's son. I used to visit Brett down in Carmel Valley and oh. during the 80s. I'd see Brett quite often. And Ansel, of course, who invited me over here. So You got to you know, know some I'd, of the giants there. Yeah, I was very fortunate to, you know, to be around when they were still alive. And... Um, well, we can say the same thing about learning from you, Bob. And that's why we wanted to do the course, because I, I really wanted to capture in a complete package, you know, summary of your wisdom rather than just little bits and pieces here and there. You know? So that's why we have the five minute course. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> we could have stretched it out, but we. Six minutes, maybe. Maybe just pushing six. it. Pushing it. So, well, look, thanks for coming out here again. It's getting cold. It's getting oh. cold. When that sun goes down, it's pretty much it. Yeah. It's time for a glass of wine. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. We have no rain, which is awesome yeah, because we've had nice. a lot of rain lately. And we've got this little brief moment. But look at the oranges and the blue up there. It's just... Oh, because I don't see any oranges. There's a lemon. <laughs> yeah. A few lemons down there. <laughs> oranges in the sky, my friend.